Alright, so when this episode starts, you're going to see two new sprites, and that's because I drew them very late and didn't feel like recording myself drawing them or recording audio for it. So here are Mabostiff and Several Edge. Alright, so let's just start this off by showing the fact that I have a 4 up here, because this is the second time I've recorded this. Literally, I got all the way to right before I defeated, I battled the Alphranata Gym Leader, and I decided to see how much I had to cut to make sure it was just about a half hour. Or so, because I was gonna. I had done some training beforehand. But I couldn't hear my audio. And I don't know why. So I wasted 45 minutes recording for nothing. So let's do this again, shall we? Iron Treads, get back here. Nope. Get back here. Hopefully, you don't care that I'm just skipping through all of the uh, dialogue, because right now I just want to get through this battle. So I'm literally going to be mashing A, and after this we're going to go to the Alphranata Gym. Um, I'm going to add my boss stuff to the team. And we are going to train up against some bayonets before the gym battle. Or more, before the gym challenge. So, just telling you what we're going to do. Actually, you know what? Let me add my boss stuff to the team right now so he can get some extra XP from this battle. <laughs> I went past it, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Let's just say I'm very annoyed. Actually, you know what? Let me test the audio now. Yep, okay. We're good. It's picking up my audio.
I was not paying attention. I don't know what the heck just happened. That's fine. We win. Good job, Scovillain. Okay. So now we're just we're going to get the ability to glide. And like I said, I'm just going to mash A throughout this entire cutscene. So I'm going to... Yep. Actually, no, I'm going to wait on that because I have a plan for the gem battle as well. Like I, said, like I just said, I'm literally just going to be mashing A. I'm not even going to look at the screen. I am so annoyed that I just wasted 45 minutes for nothing. What's the temp in Edinburgh? What's the temperature? What's the temperature in Dudley, Mass? What is 41 degrees Celsius? No, 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 no. What is 41 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? What is 36 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius?
under where's the pier? I forget where you find it. No, it's not that one. So now, we are going to fly to Alfranada. But first, we're going to do this. Nope, didn't want to hit that. Remember Moose, Baton Pass. Get rid of Crunch. TMs substitute. Excuse me. So the plan is set up the light screen, set up a substitute, baton pass out into Mbostiff. So then it has seven turns of light screen, and it has a and it's behind a sub. So now we'll fly out of Alfranada, and I'm not doing that uh, mass outbreak outside of Alfranada because it's Glimmit, and where they have the outbreak, it never shows up. It's like right on the edge of town, and yeah, it like never shows up. It's weird. But anyway, oh wait, it's not nighttime, so we're not going to get Bayonet. That's annoying. Hi, Sinistee. Ah, uh, go away, Sinistee. Oh, come on, Bombardier. Oh, also, I need to level you up, don't I? Because you're still level 31. So I'm going to use all of these... Thirty-eight, crunch, replace bite with crunch. Forty-one, no. Forty-two, Let's go do the gym challenge, and then hopefully that'll waste some in-game time. Because it is too bright, and I want to fight bayonets. But also, we have to fight her. I forgot about that. That's fine, but that's why I kept Aqua Jet. 
but I'm gonna have to switch into coiffeton. Dog, doggo versus doggo. It doesn't matter because this doggo is switching out. Oh yeah, I forgot, now I can't beat this thing with a uh, Ferrero Raph like I did last time. Cause I don't have a second move on it. Eh, we can go clear Citra. That's fine. Bye, Palma. Thanks for coming. Come on. Alright, there's no way she gets two crits in a row. We'll just loom in a crash, lower her special defense. Heal up just in case. And then one will kill with Dazzling Gleam. I mean, I'm sure Lumina Crash would kill too, but... In the last battle, it took me three Dazzling Gleams to kill this thing. And now here's Skeledurge. Who, in our last battle, just wanted to lick. So I'm going to go into Mabostiff.
Okay, so she's probably gonna torch song. Yep, okay, that's fine. So it's not gonna kill me. It will do a lot, though. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. Because she's probably gonna want to torch song again. Because her going for Shadow Ball w wouldn't really do anything. I mean, it would have killed, but... Yeah, and now Flash Fire. Now she's probably going to want a Shadow Ball. So we're going to switch into Ferrogaraph. Oh no, it's not. Ow. And I'm just going to switch into Quaffetong. Okay, we're good. And I'm all done with my coffee. Bye, Skeledurge. Okay, let's heal. Oh, she healed me. Even better. Okay. So now that it's darker outside, actually, let's go fight Bayonet. Because I don't want to do the gym challenge and then have it become daytime. Because Bayonet gives attack EVs as well. So that also helps. No, Gotharita, not you. There we go. So I'll see you guys at level 47. Alright, so we are now at level 47. I just want to see if maybe I'll find a sh random shiny Bennett as I'm battling. But that's probably not going to happen. Let's check the cliff side really quick. Hi, Meditite. Nope, but I will get this... Gimmagool coin. I said, get the Gimmagool coin. Oh, come on, low kicks. Go away. Wee. Wee. The bombardier here had red feet. Okay. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't some random shiny just popping up out of nowhere. Nope, okay. Alright, moving on. Going back to the gym now. 
Whee! Bag. I miss Dendra. I'm, I can guarantee I'm going to get at least one or two wrong. Maybe not on this one, but on the second half I probably will. Go! Like I said, or right now, because they switched the colors around. The last time, yellow was... Actually, was it? I forget. Anyway, whatever. Okay, now we're going to fight a, a trainer with a Gotharita. Okay, I don't know why you guys need to be so close. Bye, Curlia. You're dead. <clears throat> In the first recording, Curlia used Charm on uh, Sarah Ledge, but it didn't matter. It still died to one Shadow Claw.
Okay, can we do a different color besides this green and red? Thank you. And now we get to fight the annoying Metacham. Because this guy's Metacham knows acupressure. And when I fought it, it got like two evasiveness boosts in a row. And it's very annoying. I've right, here's a grump pick first. Which is dead. Bye bye. Eat the pig. Eat the psychic bacon. And now, now here comes the annoying Metacham. <clears throat> that I swear only knows acupressure, because I don't think I've seen it use any other move. Oh, it does! It knows high jump kick. Okay. Oh, that would have been a great time to switch into, uh... Sutter Ledge. And there's acupressure. pressure. Oh, he gets an attack boost. <laughs> and there's Opportunist. Doesn't matter. It's dead. Oh yeah, I forgot, he has an Ndidi too. I'm actually going to use this chance to ether up Crunch. No, I'm going to Elixir up Crunch, actually. Actually, yep, Max Ether. There we go. That's what I wanted. And guess what? I get a boost too. Thanks, Indeedy. Do you have Shadow Ball? I don't know. I really don't know if this thing has Shadow Ball or not. Does have psychic. Obviously. Aw, okay. That's fine. Because I can partially lower your special defense. Ow. You know what? Maybe I won't battle you with. Clea Cytra. We're gonna go on to Mabostif. Because there's no way this thing doesn't use Psychic again. Yep, like I said. Bye. So before we do that, let's see how close to, I don't know, maybe like 35 minutes we are with me cutting out the battling, uh, bayonet. Hold on. And as you can see, we're at like 36 and a half minutes, so we will end the episode here. 
and start episode 23 off with the Alpha Not a Gym Battle. Alright, so see you guys in about 10 seconds. Later.